this topic may make some people uncomfortable. <laughs> Maybe me. We meet new people all the time. Neighbors, coworkers, we meet them at church. Hypothetically speaking, some of these people may be potential friends, but how do you really know? Is it okay to, gosh, I don't know, research them first? Life coach Amber Rochelle is here. Uh, just a hypothetical question for you. Sure. Um, is it okay if I were to Google and search through social media scouring for information about someone I just met? I think it is okay. <gasps> the fact is that this is the day and age that we live in. It's the world of social media. And people know when they put themselves out there on the internet that they are opening themselves up to being searched. So I don't really think that there's anything wrong with doing that. I actually think it's kind of a normal response. So what can I do with this information? <laughs> <laughs> well, here's the thing about social media and about things you find online is you have to remember that you're looking at a curated version of somebody, right? A lot of people, their Facebook profile isn't always an accurate representation representation of who they are. So I would take everything you find with a grain of salt, positive or negative, and you know, you can use it as an indicator, but give people the benefit of the doubt at the same time. My personality is such that I like to be honest, so my instinct is to go back to the neighbor, assuming we're still friends, or the new <laughs> friend, and say, I looked you up online. But now that I say that out loud, it sounds really terrible. <laughs> Do you want to admit to someone that you looked them up, or maybe just not? I would feel it out. <laughs> um, you know, I think, I, like I said, though, this is the day and age that we live in. So people, I think everybody searches people on social media because you can. It's po it's an option to do it. And so why would you not? We're naturally curious, right? And so I don't think anybody's going to be super creeped out that you looked them up on Facebook <laughs> as long as you're not like overly stalking them online. Right. <laughs> Which is my next question. Where is the line? If I went to LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, and I, like, I mean, is that a problem? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I think everybody probably starts with a Google search, right? Or a Facebook search. So, you know, I mean, there's nothing wrong with looking at somebody's Facebook profile. If you are digging excessively or spending a lot of time obsessing over it or trying to get through loopholes so that you can see things you're not supposed to see, oh. that's when it's starting to get a little stalker. <laughs> Paying for background searches. <laughs> or like looking exactly. for friends of friends. Yeah. Do you have any mutual, mutual friends? Right. <laughs> you, you already kind of answered this, which is that everybody's kind of doing it. So I think we can all expect that people are looking us up at some point too. But knowing that, what should we keep Keep in mind as far as what we share and don't share on social media. Well, I mean, you want to be careful because even if you have certain privacy settings on your Facebook or Instagram, for example, there are ways for people to get around that. And there's certain stuff that people can see. I would just say, you know, always take a pause before you post something online. Just think about if everybody could see this, is this something that you want to be putting out there to represent yourself? You don't have to be like overly anxious about it, but just keep in mind that these are public forums and that that is the image of yourself that you're putting out there to the world to see. Do you think, I mean, like if it is somebody I I just met, should I wait to actually request being their friend on Facebook until we actually become friends? Like, is there a timeline for that other than just doing the research? You know, again, I, I would say kind of feel it out. I think, you know, I, a lot of times when I meet somebody, I'll just automatically send them a friend request. And same thing when people meet me. And I don't personally find that to be odd. It just seems to be a little bit more the social norm these days. Um, but, you know, go, go with your gut on that one. I think the other good reasoning behind what you're saying, which is not to take it too far, not to explore, is that you will find yourself saying things that you wouldn't know unless you had been stalking their, like, oh, your pictures yeah. look great right from your trip to Europe in yeah. 2005. And they're like, what? Like, I posted that like six years ago. What? That's some deep stalking right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wouldn't, I wouldn't go six years deep. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and, and of course, if you're not going to tell them that you've looked them up, be careful about the things that yes. you let slip out, yes. right? It can, it can happen. It's very embarrassing when it does. Okay, so it's okay. Absolutely. There is a line. <laughs> yes. And people Don't are going to do it to us, too. Yes. Fabulous. Yes. Amber Rochelle, <laughs> life coach, as always. Thank you for helping us learn some good modern life lessons. Of course. Feel more normal. I appreciate that's right. yeah. that. And that's AmberRochelle.com. So still to come, we are talking all this morning about the self-driving cars and how they could change the